Hey! Hi, how was your day?
Where have you been?
Ah, uh, okay, class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you listening to me? What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. 
It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh, pretty shocking, huh? Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some kind of crime. Some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question. But is it okay for me to go on like this? Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki! What are you waiting for? Come on up! Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Uh, hello everyone. I know it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? Transfer? What? You're a weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. You're transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick. And they say it'll take some time for him to recover. And we don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay here. You know... I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me. But, like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living at home. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Natsuki-chan. But... Fuka, your house is nearby, and your parents are pretty normal. So why'd you move? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. This is the last time I'll see this view. Huh. I won't be in school next week, because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be alright. Come on, don't give me that look. What? Hey, I'm not helpless, you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want? I used to try and please everyone. I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. 
Natsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Natsuki-chan! Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. Why? Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Ah, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power. For my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay... <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Uh, are you sure you're alright?
Hi, how is your day? Won't be easy. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target.
Do my best until the very end. Oh. 